Hi, I'm Emily, and we're at the Creighton University College of Business today with John Deskins, and we're going to be talking about the national debt. Can you provide some background on the national debt? Well, the national debt is always a topic of uh, debate in Washington in policy circles, but recent events with the recession uh, and significant changes in government have created even more discussion of deficit issues. Just some quick background as you asked. Currently, the national debt is just over $12 trillion. Um, the deficit, which is the uh, addition to the national debt in any given year, was $1.4 trillion for the fiscal year that just ended. Um, that's compared to $455 billion over the previous fiscal year, so uh, significantly more than double, almost triple, uh, the previous fiscal year's deficit. Uh, the deficit that we just had for the year ended 1.4 trillion amounts to about 10 percent of our gross domestic product uh, and that's compared to a post-World War II uh, uh, average for the deficit to GDP ratio of about 1.7 percent. That's what I have in my notes. I'm making reference to my notes here. So we're talking about 10 percent this past fiscal year compared to an average of 1.7 percent. Very significant increase in the deficit. Uh, this is the highest deficit to GDP ratio that we've seen since 1945, right at the end of World War II. Um, and currently, interest payments on the debt amount to 9 or maybe even close to 10 percent of federal government expenditures. Who owns the national debt? Well, the national debt, that $12 trillion uh, figure that I quoted, it, interestingly, about half of that is actually owned by different parts of the government itself most notably the Federal Reserve and the Social Security Trust Fund own significant, huge chunks of that debt. Then among the remaining portion, about a fourth uh, of the debt is owned by foreign governments. China, Japan, and the UK are the largest there. Uh, and then the remainder is owned by local governments, public and private pension funds, banks, mutual funds, in insurance companies, just individuals. Are there any special issues when we're in a recession? Well, in a recession, uh, for one thing, it's very hard to work towards deficit reduction in a recession. And even further, uh, deficit, running deficits is probably okay in recessions uh, because increasing spending and or cutting taxes in recessions, at least if done properly, can help to spur economic growth during downturns. downturns. What are the problems with the debt? Well, the national debt in general has three problems associated with it. The first is that interest payments on the debt um, place a burden on future generations. All the money that we borrow now, the very least future generations will have to pay interest on that borrowing. Uh, second, the national debt crowds out private sector investment in the economy in the long run, thus reducing private sector productivity. And third, if we allow politicians to, to borrow money, uh, if they don't face constraints against borrowing, it may be the case that they're less careful with, with how they spend taxpayer money. Uh, those are the three problems. But on the other hand, just think about this. If we're, if we're able to borrow money cheaply, which is the case now with low interest rates, uh, but if, if we can invest that money in ways that help us boost productivity, we may be able to come out ahead in the long run. Just for example, just a real simple example, the 1950s, money that we borrowed to finance the interstate system, well, that, uh, in that situation, the interstate system coming from those borrowed funds probably allowed us to boost productivity at a rate higher than what we were paying on the debt, probably came out ahead uh, in that particular circumstance. So what's your own personal take on the debt? My take is that we, we shouldn't be worried about the debt, the deficit, in the immediate term. We're in this recession, the, the, uh, maybe the economy is recovering, there's some signs to point to that, but at the very least we still have a fragile economy and interest rates are very low right now. So in the immediate term, I'm not concerned. But as we uh, come out of this recession, I uh, become much more concerned over the national debt. And, uh, and that's especially true because it's inevitable that interest rates are going to rise uh, in, the, in the future. And when that happens, it'll be, the, the, the burden of the debt will become much more significant. In all, uh, I am a major advocate of deficit reduction in the longer run, uh, and I'd love to see us return to the deficit hawkishness that really characterized the 1990s mm -hmm. uh, in Washington. Um, I'd really like to see some evidence from, uh, from Washington that the political will for deficit reduction is there. Maybe it is, but I'd like to see more evidence uh, as we progress further. 
one last note, this blog entry is about the need to reduce the deficit uh, over time. It's a topic of another, another conversation as to whether deficit reduction should come through reduced spending or increased taxing, ta or increased taxes. That's a whole other uh, can of worms. Yeah, maybe next time. Oh, maybe. Thank you. Uh -huh, thank you. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions or comments, feel free to follow us on Twitter, stop by our blog, or start up a conversation with us on Facebook.